Hey Steve, this is my second test to it. I did change up some things to it. It was basically perfect. I just, you know, you can always tweak it out a little bit. So, uh, yeah, everything's working. I mean, I got the gamepad. You can see the A buttons on there. Um, there's the controllers if you need to see it. There's a layout, I guess. You can mess with the settings as in, uh, sensitivity and everything if it's too sensitive or something like that and then let me get started with it let's pick a new game i'm gonna start again just because i'm not paying attention to it i'm just trying to show you the commands hopefully i can put a quad stick visual so you can see why i play i'm really not gonna i'm not gonna really play i'm just gonna go through the i'm gonna go through the tutorial aspect of it all right to go forward uh, since I can't move the physical person unless I'm in mode one to go forward you're gonna go to center puff after like I think I set it to 800 yeah I believe so after 800 milliseconds it stays on forever until I press certain buttons uh, I set a lot of force offs it just turns off almost on every single button so after 800 milliseconds it just stays on forever La, 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 la. I can do whatever I want to go backwards it's left center sip that one doesn't have anything special as long as you hold it it will keep walking backwards and that's it center puff to walk forward left center sip to walk backwards X which is on the Xbox is I mean PS3 is square that I believe is left sip yeah it is oh sure I keep gold sweet kick ass let's do it again oh come on it has to be more than four G's she's better than my plates all right enough of that all right I guess we jump over is the uh, left center puff also if I hold it for 500 milliseconds it'll stay toggled to run I think that's later in the game oh shit oh shit oh I thought I fell all right left sip again oh it's a lot of puffing and sipping I'm in whoa all right so there's two things you can do if you need to be sudden. You can puff it slowly like breaks and burst like that or switch to mode one, strafe a little bit. Turn the camera back to mode two, back to mode one and continue. Or, oh shit. That's not good. Or, or right, back to the game. All right. Or you can crouch by right sipping, and it'll stay toggled. Dude, I just walk through it, dude, like a champ. Someone about that. And it's all mode two. Puzzles like these, I switch to mode one, and I guess just do your thing. Oh, here it is. And then I think I just, I right center puff and hold it a little bit. Yeah, boy. There we go. Okay. For this one, I go to mode three. And then uh, all you got to do is center sip it when you find it. So you hold it with the analog stick. And you center sip it. To make that function I mean I put notes in it I mean they're kind of all right they're not hard to read it just looks like a graph all right skip this then you switch back to mode two okay journal straightforward it's I never change it it's a left sip soft and then you just go to mode one 
you can adjust it. That's why I said it's navigation. Anyway, back to uh, mode two. All right, uh, to open your inventory, I had it set to toggle and any other button will turn it off. So it's a uh, left puff. So then you can use the, you can aim, you can use your uh, joystick to aim at the rope downwards. And you can either left puff it again or click any other button. All right, there we go. All right, observing is, uh, I think triple sip and I set it to pulse to like a thousand five hundred so if you hold it for like half a second and then let go you can observe things a lot easier there you go it's not bad and then um, obviously the longer you hold it it'll react after that um now let's do the rope thing. I think it's right center puff. There we go. Left center puff to jump and just climb it. And I'm doing all this without changing modes. Let's skip this. All right, she wants me to run. So I have to hold OT. I set it to 500 milliseconds. So all I had to do is hold the left center puff first. It'll beep, and then you can start running with the center puff. And uh, since they're both toggled, you don't have to do anything. I'm not even touching the controller. I just gotta make sure it's facing the right direction. And there you go. It's a really easy game. And just put the push the lib button to turn everything off. Did you pick that? I think you can swoop with the center sip, which is A. That's kind of cool. I'm not collecting crap. I just want to be done with it. To break objects, it's right center puff. I mean, right center sip. Pays to keep a low profile in places where I'm not 